Thank you, Tony administration, for this recognition. The true gift has been over 40 years of collaboration with the single purpose of moving an audience. I believe that live theater is the one place where hearts and minds can be changed. As a projection designer, my technology has evolved from noisy slide and film projectors to decision-making algorithms, but I hope always to work in support of the breathing beings on both sides of the footlights. I want to illuminate the emotion in words and music to deepen our understanding of the world. The audience is my most valued collaborator. What luck when my entire understanding of theater consisted of Busby Berkeley musicals that I found myself backstage making slides for their playing our song in 1978. I was smitten, changed by the dynamic of collaboration in service to an idea. Still smitten, still grateful. To Doug Schmidt, who taught me how to look, to Theron Musser, who modeled a serious work ethic and showed me that an observant woman with wisdom and skills would be heard. Manny Eisenberg, who created families I could belong to and still cherish, and directors like Richard Eyre, Frank Galati, James Lapine, and Jack O'Brien, who preciously gave me their trust. My programmer, Paul Verschbau, for 30 years interpreting my thoughts, and my partner, playwright Stephen Helper for his unflagging support and understanding that vision is not strictly visual. I thank my daughters, Anna and Emma, who napped in road boxes, did homework at tech tables, and celebrated Thanksgivings with stagehands on a one-hour break. They sacrificed, supported, and cheered me and remained some of my finest work. Sixteen years ago, Ming Cho Lee invited me to Yale where this college dropout with a passion for theater became a professor of design. I applaud my students who are winning Tonys of their own while I continue to remind them. We go to the theater for the feelings. Do not be seduced by the toys. Be bold, but always in service. Again, I thank you for this great honor. Mm -hmm.